right, so I might be a tad ambitious with this deck. Darn it all. Crazy amount of items, a little bit of boost. Still trying to trying to pull off Nitro as well. So we've got Nitro Crank, right? Items to crank, Nitro to play, and then just boosting to, to get the items on board. A uh, big payoff. System reset into a loaded up Teclo Plasma Pistol, right? So we spend a bunch of turns putting on Steam Counters, and then how many would you need? Uh, at six, you're doing 12 damage. Uh, where's the weapon buff? It's one of these, isn't it? it? Is one damage until the end of turn. If you system reset it, you can use it twice, roughly, right? So that would be plus two. So at four damage, if you had six steam counters, you're doing 24. That's that's fairly decent. And again, off of system reset, uh, that'd be two cards. So that would be your your entire play. Would be two blues and a system reset. And you still, you wouldn't get exactly enough action points, though. Hmm. Curious, 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 right? Because we will also want mainly blue if we're, we're going to pull off system reset. And as you can see, I'm pretty stuck on what cards to cut, right? I want twin drive because obviously putting or attempting to put two items into play is, is fantastic. Again, uh, my whole thing with Darnitol is it's basically, you know, Crank it on, uh, put an item into play, crank it, you get an action point. So every now and then, your passive is basically just gain an action point, which something like the pistol you could use to to shoot, right? Or I guess resource. What are, what are the other weapons? That's probably the better objective. So this is boost. Eh, we want... There's no steam counters on plasma barrel, put a steam count on it, but then X is boost, not steam counters. So that's also not that great. Is there any more weapons? Tech low leveler. I, I really dislike that one. I don't think so. I don't think there are that many weapons to pick from. I mean, you could run Telesher, I suppose. Uh, you wouldn't obviously get too many swings off of it. And everything works with a pistol, right? It's a pistol? Yeah. So I think I think the Teclo plasma pistol is fine. And again, yeah, so you get crank. Uh, it's just basically shoot, right? It's, it's basically what um, Dash is doing, just with less cards. <laughs> maybe some freebies. So I guess the big thing is just get your boom grenades and your hadron colliders into play and then boost. I think that is a is a pretty solid backbone by itself, right? You cut out. Well, I mean, the hype drivers for resources just to buff up the Teclo Plasma Pistol are good, but you cut out like the mini force field, the overload script, and you're basically just boosting into trying to hit boom grenades and hadron colliders, right? That's probably the easiest concept of the deck. And you don't worry about the plus damage, your main damage or your main pressure comes from these cards, right? And your opponent just having the block. When you boost an attack, destroy this if you do the attack. So you increase its damage prior to the block, but then boom grenade is they have to block or else they take the, the hit of damage. And again, even on blue is two damage. So that's fairly decent, but I would like to get Nitro to work. So give me a sec. I will thin this out somehow, probably cut a bunch of red and then we'll we'll play test it we'll give it a go i'm probably still too heavy on the item side of things but you know we'll we'll test run it we'll give it a go again we'll, we'll probably first play against the bot right just on telashare before we actually tackle some live games because i would like to you know put up a decent fight oh you have to chain it that way so you can't stack them up all right that's that's a redo this weapon won't work for what i was trying to do ah how many of you were were shouting at me Okay, so the question is, what are we trying to do with system reset, <laughs> right? So the weapon doesn't work. The only the only person you can try to go for a cool system reset, you know, multi-shot is is new dash with Symbos shot, or I guess old dash with Symbos shot. So get rid of that, all right? We'll probably take something cool. We'll probably take a boost gun, all right? Third time, or this is damage per boost. Probably take the, the blaster. Now, from thinking about it for a little bit, I think we're going to cut Nitro from the deck, right? What I've kind of just set up here is not really a Nitro deck. It is just a high tempo item deck. And I think that's that's good enough, right? So we have the boom grenades. We have the Hadron Colliders. These are all really great attack support items, right? So if we get them free into the field, we can pressure a lot better with our boost attacks and we can sort of just go for high value tempo plays, you know, in the first two turns. If we don't win after that, we're probably screwed. But I think that's that's fun enough for me, and I think we'll set Nitro aside. There is definitely ways to do it with Dardanol, 
Again, just looking for hyperdriver running system reset to try and keep it on board, you know, is, is probably decent, but at the end of the day, the payoff is probably gonna work better from max, right? Because your hype drivers have crank anyway, so if you system reset them, you can still get a ton of action points to then go into Nitro. Plus then you also have, you know, four cards in hand, run three. So I think we'll cut Nitro. And in terms of the attacks we're going for, I think I'm just gonna stick in, uh, what do I wanna stick in? I'm trying to think what pressure's best. T-Bone, obviously, because uh, it forces equipment usage. Then we have Data Link, actually quite nice, right? Because being Data Dog, we wanna opt. So it does incentivize your opponent to try and block, right? Even though it's only one damage. And then even Expedite, right? That sort of goes what against what we want to do, which is proc the goggles and reset items to the top of our deck and just try to go into a, a, a turn of, of essentially four boost attacks and four items. So I think either T-Bone or Data Link is what we want to run. I don't want to run like zero to 50 because it's just three damage. So in most cases, this is just one block, right? You really want to pressure so that you have, you know, your boom grenades and your Hadron Collide is going off. So I think we will go with just T-Bone for now. All right, so that's my 40 cards. The microprocessor sort of takes over. Hopefully we can get on board, you know, by the time the goggles are spent. So ideally what the play is, is turn one, you just throw out whatever you can, you stick a boost card in your arsenal, and then turn two, you basically just tank damage, right? Take whatever you can, and then go full on four boost cards off the goggles, try and get four items into play, you know, try to high roll essentially. And then eventually if you get microprocessor, you can use microprocessor to accomplish a similar thing, especially if you can crank items so that you can continue to proc all the effects of microprocessor. But anyway, we'll give it a go as is, see how it plays. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Right, let's, oh, never mind. Oh, of course, of course it's Shane. So uh, again, we either win by turn three or we give up is, is pretty much the go. This is a great hand to start off with, right? We can even get the microprocessor strain to play. I would, though, ideally like to stick one of these in our arsenal, because I think going for the four, I think we're going to just go for the, the combo. So activate the goggles, play one of these, and hopefully draw into another one, even though we're one card down, essentially, right? But we can draw a card, put a card, it's nice, and we can banish. Uh, we're basically just taking all the damage, right? Because we want our three cards to play with, and it is, yeah, just who can beat down the first person quickest, right? So this is gonna be a nice, short, quick game. So we might be able to squeeze out a few of them, right? But I am just, in all honesty, going for high tempo. I think chain is usually around turn four. Although if we don't block, it's probably a bit earlier too. Okay, so, right, we just go for broke, basically. Is that what we wanna do? Yeah, you know what, just go for broke. Activate the goggles so we can start cycling items. We can get the processor on top so that we can banish it. So that's good enough in itself, right? So we just do zero to 60. Of course we want to boost. We get a boom grenade. I am going to uh, definitely put microprocessor, right? That's the next card coming out. We don't have to worry about the action point just yet. Five, that's good. We can stick more steam counters on it. No, microprocessor doesn't use steam counters. Or are they just taking damage? They're just taking damage, cool. So it is just going to be a slugfest. I like it. Question is, can we hit the other boost card? We do get, do we get two chances? I don't think we get two chances, right? But we use data link. Definitely boost. We know what we're getting. We get penetration script. I would like to call that into play, uh, which we can do, right? Because we get banish off of microprocessor. Uh, is it seam counters? First time you activate, no, so why do I have to do that? Pass. Three, you know, they're gonna let it hit. No, they do block, interesting, because they don't want me to opt, which is a bit weird, because I know at this point, right, because I cycled a card, so it's not a big deal. I would like to, to go for something else, but we can definitely just get penetration script into play. We just do banish the top card. Do we want to do two? We could probably banish and then draw as well, right? If we activate the boots, we could probably go that. Pass. We are going to banish the top card. Uh, pass, we can activate the instant later, right? 
We don't want to crank. We definitely want to move a, a token over. Achilles into draw. We got microprocessor. Okay, that's that's a bit annoying. So we'll probably just get rid of that and we'll just stick boom grenade into play. And hopefully we can just go for another big turn. No. And yes. Fortunately, we didn't get a steam counter on the blaster, right? Because that's our big payoff. But this is not so bad of a hand. Right, and we have the microprocessor to draw and cycle the other microprocessor. Though there isn't, there isn't going to be much interaction between the two of us now, is there? Right? I mean, I can, I can block physical damage, which I probably should have done against the Rosetta Thorn, thinking about it, because it's battle worn, right? Even this is battle worn. Uh, if you play blah, blah, blah. I mean, might as well, at this point, avoid a little bit of damage. But I want to keep all my cards, in all honesty. We have, you know, a good setup going. Boom Grenade means I have to block. Ghostly Veil, we're going to take five. Battle Worn, so we can block again with the Heart. You know, why not? We can't block Rosetta Thorn, so that's getting through. I probably should have left the gear to block Rosetta Thorn. Let's see if they can finish us off. This is going to do two plus two. We're down to six, but it's our turn to swing back. Okay, so microprocessor. We definitely want to banish. Draw and then top deck. Ah, we got twin drive. That is very nice. Question is, do we play twin drive or do we go into zero to 60 and T-Bone? Probably these two and then stick this in our arsenal, right? So zero to 60. Yes, of course we want boost because we know what the card is. Uh, no, we don't want to move steam counter. And then we can try and cycle Twin Drive as well. Well, we don't really want to cycle Twin Drive. Because we know what it is. I get. I suppose we opt. I don't think we have enough damage to win this round anyway. Which is a bit annoying. I would like to go for Broke. This lets us Twin Drive anyway. Right? So we do that. We pitch T-Bone. Uh... We don't want to crank. We get a Pantation script and we get a hyperdriver. So then we can twin drive, but we should probably opt, I think. Opt. Okay, that definitely is going to the bottom and then we twin drive. And we definitely want to boost twice. Uh, no. Seven. See, so the payoff would have been nice here. Right, because we should get Steam Counter. If we had gotten that third attack on the first round, we could have also added the Blaster into this, which would have been nice. We have one action points. We might as well just banish the top card. Right, see what it is. You want to crank? I mean, sure, because then we can activate the Microprocessor again. Move the Steam Counter. Banish. All right. Close, right? But I don't think we can obviously get through this this round, so to speak. But the idea is there, right? To just, again, try and go for three turns. First turn, set up one counter. Why did we not get counter? Ah, it's my problem. I misread. Third time you play a card with boost, not the third time you boost. Mm. So this might need to be swapped out. That's the only thing. So they're attacking for six. We can block for three, right? They're going to get Rosetta Thorn. Uh, this doesn't do anything. I mean, we have to, basically. But then they're just going to swing anyway. So that is game. If we just had that little bit more pressure. So I think swap out the weapon. I, in all honesty, I'm, I'm thinking like take the Ornate Tensai rather than attack weapon. Anyway, that's game. So yeah, it's a really high tempo deck. Why? You win anyway. <laughs> Good game, yeah. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I always, always never remember. Uh, okay, so what do we do? We threaten 21, which is great. They took 15, although uh, they they also, they sort of knew what we were going for, right? So they let a lot of damage slip by. All right, we will find another game. Let me tweak it a little bit, especially the weapon. 
Oh, well, this should be fun. We're against the Emperor, right? They're probably running the time, so it's probably a more competitive deck, but we'll see. So we're trying the pistol. Probably do one more after this, trying the Ornate Tencent, right? Just try and cycle. Yeah, so they're wizard things, which I hate, <laughs> but we'll see. 15 HP is nicer to deal with, although our hand is not so great, right? If I had the Ornate Tencent, we could cycle the Penetration Script. No, because it goes to the... Well, it goes to the bottom. I mean, we could still try and look for another boost card, right? In all honesty, we're kind of just doing T-Bone and playing the Penetration Scripts. Are we even, do we even want to attack with T-Bone at that point? I kind of feel like we just want to stick it in our arsenal. Yeah, and we can put either of these into play. Uh, definitely block. All right, nothing else is block. No one block with T-Bone. If there was a way to dump the items, right, so I could try and get a different card. I mean, I can look for a, a different... Ugh, oh, I don't want to, because obviously boost. See what they do. If this is too quick and we don't really do anything in response, right, we will... Uh, we will find another game, I think, with the pistol. You know what, I might just go for broke off of one card. It's pretty dumb to do it, but we'll see. Phoenix Slain, that's interesting. They did a decent chunk of damage. Right, so yeah, do we do we go for this? Do I just I probably don't want to proc the the goggles. But I want I want four cards to really finish off the opponent. Right? We play T Bone, we can see what we get. Boost it. Uh I didn't see what was banished. It wasn't anything good, was it? It's fine. We can activate the heart now, which is the next thing. Right. The question is, what are we pitching for it? Probably, probably the, the plasma. Wow. This has just been unfortunate. All right. We just put that in play. And that's done. No, we don't want to crank. So we didn't hit any items, which is unfortunate. So give me three boost. <laughs> of course. Of course. When I want to do cool stuff, the deck never works in my favor. Right? So we banished all our attacks, and then we drew into all our items. That makes perfect sense. All right, I'm going to call this uh, a mulligan, and we're just going to find another game. Ah, I'm happy with this. So what I actually find funny about that first match, right, against the Emperor, is how do I just proc the goggles? Right, we would have been fine. In fact, this is, is this not the exact same hand, basically? Uh, we'll block, like usual. I, it's, it's very similar. But we'll, we'll just use the goggles from the get-go, right? We'll just go for broke before he has a chance to heal or defend or proc anything, All right? It'd just be so good if items were at like one block, so at least you could cycle them. Uh, ch -ch -ch yes, I can actually. Yes, thank you. Let me, let me cycle these. Thank you for attacking with Arcane. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're not going to last long enough to go through them. Okay, we got T-Bone. Right, so at the very least, I'm probably playing two. But we'll, we'll keep the visor for later. You want a boost? Of course I do. Cool, we get Penetration Scripts. That's nice. Do I want to crank? No. Five damage is nice. Right, but I do know they have sync blows. They're very defensive. Then we can activate the Foundry Heart off of Hyperdriver. Look for two more items, hopefully. And then go for T-Bone into the pistol, probably. Right, should be simple enough. Pass. Take some damage. Uh, do we play T-Bone first? That's a question. Well, it doesn't really matter which order. I mean, this is probably better in case we find items. Right, that benefit T-Bone. Which we did, too, actually, which is great. No, we don't need to crank, because we don't have the resources. Well, actually, we would. I don't want instant. Uh, I should have cranked the, the Hadron Collider, I think, actually. But this is going to be a hefty T-Bone anyway. Right, so we play T-Bone. Yeah. Gets one from the penetration, gets three from the Hadron Collider. 
And then if it hits, it does another four. Definitely a good start. And we have both these items around for the next turn. So they have to fully block, surely. Right, they have two, four. Otherwise they take an extra four damage. Yeah, they're gonna take the damage. That's interesting. I wouldn't have. Ah, there we go, Oasis Respite. Uh, okay, so I can proc the Achilles into two shots. I don't think there's a better time for me to do it anyway, right? Because we have the resources. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to shoot twice. Try and deplete their hand so then we can keep up the pressure. Shoot. Attack. Us. Steam counter. Attack. All right, so the gun's not too bad. I still like the idea of the the fan, the ornate Tenson. I always forget its name properly. But it's looking good. We haven't taken too much damage. They've depleted a chunk of their hands. We get three three boost cards, so we're definitely proccing the, the visors. Do we even need to proc the visors? I guess this is more beneficial if we have an item, right? But we can look for a better card. Uh, we will just block for our one, take the rest of the damage. And yeah, probably just go T-Bone, T-Bone, Sprocket Rocket. Probably probably leave the visors until we draw two in an item or something like that. Snatch. It's fine. I don't want block it. They do get card though. Does that, is that beneficial at this point? Right, they, can, they can't even proc the furnace. So no. I don't think one card is beneficial to them. Okay, my turn. What do we go for first? Uh, Temper, zero destroy it, zero destroy it. Problem is they can always sink Storm Striders, right? Or Arcanite into T-Bone, which kind of sucks. Oh, right, we can look for a better item. We'll, we'll use the Sprocket Rocket first. See what items we get. Twin Drive, damn, I should have used the model because I think we had a decent chance of landing Twin Drive. Us. Okay, we'll go, we'll go that first. You want to boost? Yes, always. T-bone, it's fine, we can't always high roll. And then we'll just play the tech low. Pass, and shoot again. All right, so I probably, I didn't want to play the blue because the blue was weak. But you want the items. We get another boom grenade. Do we want a crank? No, I want it for next turn to continue pressuring. Shoot. Although we're out of steam again. Well, not literally. We have we have steam. We have resource points to spend on steam. I would have liked the twin drive. So it would have. It was half decent to activate the goggles then. So all tidings is five. Uh, we're not going to no. Can they finish us off? No, okay, so we have one boom grenade. Uh, I guess we're going for broke. So we're activating the goggles. Zero to 60, and hopefully we can cycle something. Definitely want to stick the boom grenade on top. Storm Striders, they have a way to finish this off. Ah, uh, I think they do. Yeah. All right, good game. You know what, we'll do one more with the pistol, because I like the pistol. Right, and then that should be enough for today. Well, you know I love me some <laughs> KO for some just high roll decks. We haven't got to go first in a single one of these matches though, which is a bit unfortunate, right? Because then we'd perfectly set up for the model. But whatever, we'll make do. We've got two, so I might as well just go for the models. Uh, yeah, well, no, there's no way for us to pitch this, unfortunately. It might be worth taking, uh, instead of Cracker Jacks, like the Seeker stuff. That's, uh, that's a high roll. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why it blocked with Cracker Jacks as a zero. <laughs> um... Yeah, if we took Seeker, then I could cycle an item on this matchup when we go second. Five as well. Almost uh, OTK. <laughs> I mean, they can still go for the weapons, right? Is it an OTK? Let's see. 
Uh, hype driver. We draw back anyway, don't we? So it should be fine. Yeah, in fact, that worked out in favor because we don't have to use the, the model. Now I want to keep one to pitch. So zero to 60, you can go first. Yes, boost, get some items on board. Hadron Clyde is nice. We can amp up probably the Sprocket Rocket. Probably do that into Foundry Heart and then go for a big Sprocket Rocket, hopefully. No, we don't want to crank. Pass. Three. I mean, they should... Oh, they're just going to go for it. I was going to say they should get have us next round anyway, so they shouldn't really need to block. We'll see what we get. Oh, give me two good items. They're not horrible. Not great. Uh, do I want to move to the hype driver? Yeah, might as well. Would have been nice to get something that could crank. Yes, we want to boost. Ah, Sprocket Rocket, of course it is. So many resources, nothing to do with it too. We need sort of bigger payoffs, I think. Right, one... I can, I can definitely slip in one boost card that isn't zero cost. We're going to shoot anyway. So, six team counter on that. Activate the Achilles. Do that. Attack. We're going to be, you know, pretty much on even HP. We just have to pray that they low roll the next turn. Steam counter, please. Three, resource, three resources still. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely go for higher attacks. Right, one or two, one cost. I think should be fine to mix in there. As long as we have one zero cost to proc the Teclo Foundry. Gutter that we didn't roll better with the items. I should have cranked off the Collider, right? I think that's a big thing, because we could have got three shots off with the Teclo Plasma. And we just want them to low roll. Ex wow, this is this is actually awful for us. <laughs> we have to survive two turns, which I doubt we can do. Right, break that battery. They rolled a 5-2, so that's game. Good for them. Super high roll. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Some fun games, right? Again, tempo play. Somewhat, somewhat most competitive deck I've made so far, right? <laughs> That's saying something, because it's it's not quite. I'll tweak it a little bit, and then, as always, the, the deck will be in the description. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.